Okay, uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to set up Mercury Mail with an XAMP package. Uh, before we start, some prerequisites are that you have ports 25, 110, and 143 being forwarded to your mail server. Uh, ports 80 and 8080 are for my web server, which is also uh, the mail server, uh, which might be your case as well. Um, next up, you actually have to have XAMP installed. And with an XAMP installation, uh, you'll have you will have Mercury installed too. So I'm gonna start up Mercury real fast, and there it is running in the corner. Um, I made this quick script. Uh, it's just a very simple mail script in PHP with a simple to subject and message. And uh, if it can send the mail, it'll say that it could be sent, and otherwise it'll say it can't be sent. Uh, and this is actually the results you get. Uh, you get a warning. So the reason that is is because we have to set up uh, Mercury. So open up Mercury and you'll see that it's a really messy setup at first. So what we're going to do is kind of clean this up. Uh, so head over to your protocol modules and your configuration and you are going to uncheck mark Mercury H, F, W, X, and B. Uh, and to be honest, Mercury D may not even need to be checkmarked, but I've had it checkmarked this time, so I'm just going to leave it like that. After that, restart Mercury, and we will have less windows to work with here. Uh, go to Windows, Tile, and now we have a really nice clean setup to work with. Okay, first thing to do is head over to your configuration and go to your Mercury Core module. Over here, head over to your local domains tab. And if, since we are actually going to send mail from the domain name we are using as our like web server, and just so you guys understand what I'm saying, my laptop, which l acts as local host, uh, is also nestand.net. So I'm, I actually want to send mail through nestand.net, uh, and you can send it through local host locally, but just add a new domain. First box is localhost, internet name is nestand.net, or whatever your domain name will be. After that, head over to your configurations, and you're going to have to start setting up uh, the Mercury items. So, Mercury S, uh, go over to connection control, and you'll see a checkbox on do not permit SMTP relaying of non-local mail. What that means is that you will not be able to send mail outwards, or receive mail. Um, it just strictly send and receive mail through the local host, and that is not what we want. So we're going to uncheck mark that. Hit to OK. Configurations, Mercury E. Mercury E, uh, when you want to send mail to, let's say, a Gmail account, uh, what your SMTP server has to do is take gmail.com and then find out what the IP address of gmail.com is and then send the mail that way and your browser does it, your computer does it and uh, just to show you an example I will ping neststand.net and you'll see that it got my IP address and that's because your DNS server provides you with uh, IP addresses for your domain names so we actually need a DNS and I highly recommend using OpenDNS it's a great service and so I'm just going to copy these into Notepad real fast. Um, and this. So we have one line with two IPs that is separated by a comma. Paste that into there. Save that. Um, that is it for uh, setting up those. So restart Mercury. And you also need a Thunderbird for this. Um, with Thunderbird, uh, you will be asked on your first uh, launch, like, your name and... Oh, wait, forgot a step. Go back to Mercury. Uh, under Configuration, you need to go to Manage Local Users and add a user. Um, for example's sake, I will just make up uh, root as the username and personal name root, doesn't matter. Uh, password, I'm just going to make it p pass. Okay, close that. I'm just going to restart it for safety's sake. And there we go. It's back up. Uh, o 
open up uh, Thunderbird and what you want to do is create a new account your name doesn't matter uh, I will just put root for an example but that can be whatever you want uh, your email address will be root at nestdan.net and it's safest to use uh, the domain name you could, you could use localhost right now but that is only if the machine you are currently using is actually the mail server so if I was at a friend's house I would have to put nestdan.net to actually connect to my mail server and the password is pass so hit continue and right now it's going to try and find out all the settings for your mail server um, hopefully everything checks out and let's see okay everything did check out but you'll notice these warning errors and this is because our server is not secure we're not using any type of encryption and encryption can be added later but for example's sake we'll just keep on going so I understand the risks and create account so we now have a email address set up and you can even see here it says root tried to connect to the IMAP server and let us go and test this out so here's my hotmail account uh, start a new message to root at nestand.net subject test and body test but before I send that well actually I'll just send that <laughs> return to inbox and you will see over here Mercury SMTP server has mail from nestand at live to root at nestand.net you'll see over in the core processes nestand at live shows up down there and I'm going to open up uh, Thunderbird right now, click get mail, and we have one new message in our inbox. And that is from my email address, Daniel Caspo, me, to root at nestin.net. So we successfully received mail. And another quick test is to go to your status. And you will notice that when status page loads up, SMTP service will now be activated before it was deactivated, if you had checked it out and let's try sending mail locally so our recipient would be root at localhost because or nestand.net it really doesn't matter since I'm on the same computer as my mail server and I'll just put test test send that this message was successfully sent you'll see it over here postmaster at localhost and I will run back over here and there is postmaster at localhost sending mail as well now I'm going to write mail so we can test whether or not our SMTP server can successfully send it. And I will send it to nestan at mailcatch.com. Um, subject test and body test. Now, mailcatch.com is actually a temporary inbox service. So they allow spam mail to come in and it just helps with registering at dangerous websites. So if any website would ever receive our mail, it would be mailcatch.com. So I'll head over here. You can see that the SMTP end-to-end -end client actually uh, said mail from root at nestand.net to recipient nestand at mailcatch. And I'll refresh it over here and root test the actual email sent to another mail server. So that works. Now, this is where it gets a little uh, depressing for some people. I'm going to actually write an uh, email to nestan at live.com, which is my main email address. And subject test, body test, send that. And what should happen is that in Hotmail inbox, you would see you know, a new message from uh, nest, root at nestan.net. But if we head over here, we're going to see that there is an error. Unfortunately, messages from 98 point blah 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 weren't sent. And pretty soon we're actually going to get a, a message back in Thunderbird saying that our email was not sent successfully. And the reason why is not because we set anything up wrong. The reason is that Hotmail blocks my IP address and other people's IP address sometimes. If the email actually sent and you received it, you're fine. The reason that your email may not be sending is that you might be on SpamHoss's uh, blacklist. So head over to SpamHoss.org. Check, uh, click on Blocklist Removal Center and enter your IP address. I'm just going to copy it from here. Copy that. Paste here. And you will see that I'm not on an SBL list, XBL, or but I am on a PBL. And what a PBL is a policy block list. And this is not your fault. 
this is actually your internet service provider does not allow you to send mail through your own SMTP server. You actually have to relay your mail through another uh, SMTP server, either like for me it would be Comcast or Gmail, anyone else but my own server. And um, what this means for us is that we can't send email to a Hotmail account using just um, just the setup. So we are actually, if you uh, could send mail to a Hotmail account, you're done. Uh, but for those that want to send mail through another SMTP server, you're going to have to do this. Uh, this is called Relaying Mail. And go to your protocol modules, uh, change over to Mercury C, restart uh, XAMPP. I mean, now that I start uh, Mercury Mail. Start that up. And now we, na we now have a uh, new window here. Okay, now it's uh, over here. We need to configure it. So, Mercury C. And I have a Gmail account, and you can actually send mail through your Gmail account. And there's a whole bunch of other SMTP hosts that you can send mail through. But Gmail is a very popular one, so the address is smtp.gmail.com. The uh, encryption type is SSL uh, via star TTLS. Um, login username, so you're going to have to put down your actual Gmail account uh, credentials. Password. Okay, uh, I'm going to restart just for safety's sake. Okay, now uh, let's try this one more time. You're going to have to write to, I'll send this to my email address again. Uh, test, test, send. And you will see that over here in the box, root at nestand.net wants to send mail to nestand.net live. Mercury Core Processes picks it up, gives an ID. And then over at the relay, uh, we're going to see it start working on the message connecting to smtp gmail.com servicing job okay and I'll click on in oh well there it is we actually received mail uh, you'll notice that the from line says Daniel Caspo at gmail.com on behalf of root and you can actually change the settings in your gmail account to uh, actually say maybe just root at nestand.net but you can find that information on the interweb um, and other than that, everything should work now, and including our mail script. Our mail script now works. So there you have it. You have a working uh, mail server uh, that can either run Mercury E or Mercury C. Uh, you have a working inbox, and you're all set. Uh, if you have any feedback on this tutorial, that'd be great. And thank you for watching.